Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at another example applying the limit comparison test. This one's very straightforward. We have our given infinite series. We'll denote the term of that as a sub n. So we'll define a sub n as 2n plus 1 divided by n squared plus n plus 1. We're going to go through a large n estimation to find the comparison term b sub n. And for large values of n, in the numerator, that will behave like 2n, since that's going to be much bigger than 1. And in the denominator, the highest power dominates. In other words, n squared eventually becomes much bigger than just n and the plus 1. So our denominator behaves like n squared. We can simplify that. One power of n cancels out, and this comes out to be 2 over n. Now, that is going to be our comparison term. In other words, the term for the comparison infinite series. And if you take a look at this, this is n to a power in the denominator. Let me just write the exponent there. That's 1. This is a p series where p is 1. And why that's important is an infinite series with that term, 2 over n, that is divergent. So what we need to go through now is the calculation of the limit of a sub n divided by b sub n. So let's define our comparison infinite series term as 2 over n. We're going to calculate the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n. And again, since we're working with fractions, I'm going to use the trick of multiplying by the reciprocal here instead of dividing by that fraction. So we're going to keep the numerator the same. a sub n and now instead of dividing by b sub n, I'll multiply by the reciprocal. Multiplying by now n over 2. Now this limit is going to be very easy to evaluate. It might be easier to see what you get if you distribute the n to, to each part of the numerator and the 2 to each part in the denominator. So let me just go ahead and write that. If you distribute the n, looks like that's going to be 2n squared plus n. And then similarly, if you distribute the 2 here, looks like we're going to get 2n squared plus 2n plus 2. And if you go through this limit, this is a good one to apply L'Hopital's rule to. You could also notice, due to the powers of n, they are of the same power in the numerator and denominator. So the limit here should be the ratio of the leading coefficients for the highest power of n. Either way, you should find this limit comes out to 1, which is a finite number that is greater than 0. And again, just to make sure you're comfortable, what the limit comparison test says with this limit value is again that either both infinite series converge or both diverge. Now we go back to our comparison infinite series. You always need to know if your comparison infinite series converges or diverges. And what we have here, the comparison term 2 over n, well, that leads to a divergent p series. So if we just write this, since the infinite series involving the term b sub n, Since that is divergent, then our given infinite series is also divergent. Again, 
the conclusion here, both infinite series either converge or both diverge. So we just write this. The conclusion is then our infinite series that is divergent. Overall, this one wasn't very difficult or challenging, but again, a straightforward problem to see how to apply the limit comparison test. You could probably try to apply the direct comparison test, but that's gonna be a lot harder here. So if you, again, are finding difficulty applying the direct comparison test, try applying the limit comparison test. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe.